Hey folks, today I'm gonna to craft a primitive candle to provide lighting in emergency survival situations. In terms of materials, you need to find a medium to large size clamshell. Then you'll need to get some fluffy materials for the wick. In my area, the fluff on the ends of marsh reeds and inside of cattails are perfect for this task. Finally, you need to acquire some kind of animal fat as the fuel preferably the type of fat that can harden into solid form. Ducks and other waterfowl in my area is a pretty good source for this. To construct this candle, first take a piece of quartz and carve a small V-shaped groove into the base of the clamshell. Next, we braid a few strands of marsh reed fluff into a small piece of cordage that is about two to three inches in length. That is going to be our wick. Then, we pour rendered duck fat into the clamshell. We soak the wick thoroughly into that fat, and then we lean the top of the wick onto the V-shaped notch on the base of the shell. Now, we just have to wait a while for the fat to congeal, and the candle will then become easily packable and transportable. At night, you can simply light the wick as you would with a regular candle. One slit, the elevated end of the wick delivers a much brighter flame than if the entire wick was placed in the fat. This flame is very bright and emits almost no smoke at all. If you have a piece of tin foil handy, you can use it to focus the candle's light, in effect creating a brightly illuminated area inside of your shelter. Overall, this primitive candle design is easy to make and works like a champ so I'll definitely be using it in my future bushcraft adventures. Anyways, if you like this video and want to see more, just go ahead and click on that subscribe button below. Until next time, thanks a lot and bye.